Now again we will click on it. Now we will give a paper sheet size 18 by 23. Now I want 4. And after that rest will be done automatically. You don't need to do anything. You just need to sit back, sit back and get relaxed and see what is happening. See the magic. Just click OK. Done. Within few seconds, you can see it done all the things which you do, and it, it takes um, much of time. Hi, friends, this is Gautam, and I welcome you on my channel, My Trick. Today, I'm here again with another tricky video of Imposer series. So here today I am just made a video code to impose front and back impose on the digital uh, sheet or if you want to print on the four color machine. For both I wrote a single video code for the front and back. So let's start the video and we will learn here how we can use this code. Starting the video I would like to request you please subscribe my channel and like share and comment so let's come on the topic so i just taking a new file and uh, here i have an, a sample cdr file where i put my two designs uh, front and on another page page back it is most important thing that for front and back you should have at least two same size design in your file and uh, then what else is required you just uh, you, sh you should be knowing which sheet you want to pr uh, print like this page is letter size so I think uh, if you will print in digitally so you required uh, 18 by 12 size like this 18 by 12 so this would be the size okay so for uh, for this what you need to do so uh, I wrote a code you just you can download this code from the videos description link here I will copy it from the notepad and shift alt F11 when you press you have to press this and at the last in the macro manager in this document you just need to right click edit and paste the copied code and close it and then when you double click on the this document you will see imposer FB will be appear it is set in this file now you just need to double click on it it will prompt what you would be the paper size <laughs> it is actually asking the sheet size where you want to uh, set these designs so I will take our this I want to print digitally so I will take 18 by 12 and I want two sets how many obje objects you want to set I want two Click OK and rest thing will be done by the code. Process done successfully set prepared front and back set of two with cutting markers. Okay. So you can see it is very easy to use. Now I will use another method for the four color painting. I just uh, keeping the pages on two pages normally. Now again we will click on it. Now we will give a paper sheet size 18 by 23. Now I want 4. And after that rest will be done automatically. You don't need to do anything. You just need to sit back, sit back and get relaxed and see what is happening. See the magic. Just click OK. Done. Within few seconds you can see it done all the things which you do and it, it takes um, much of your time and also you can see 
everything done professionally again 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 and again you just don't need to require do anything you just run this code it will set automatically process done successfully set prepare front end uh, back set of four with cutting markers this code is provided by my district don't forget it only here you can find the free vba course please stay with us and uh, now uh, i would like to show you how this code runs so that you can easily understand why we just need to give paper size why we need to give set size everything how it runs if you know how it runs then you easily understand how it works so you will not face any difficulties so here i just press f8 to uh, run sequentially so press f8 f8 so it is prompting size like i'm just again giving a uh, 18 and uh, 23 and uh, i think i did some uh, mistake so again add it f8 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 uh, 18 f8 23 again next four next is a uh, dimension which i given a uh, shape uh, paper size etc 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 it's basically it goes uh, on the page and select group get size and uh, on another page same he do and match with the size with the first page uh, object size and with the another page or uh, shape size If it is same, then it will work. Otherwise, it will not work. So, it is uh, getting size of page one. It is getting size of page two. And here, uh, positions I will change of x and y. So you can see zero left of the page and zero bottom layer. It is the actually x and it is the y. I am just changing this orientation. Uh, position of uh, x and y here you can see it will activate page 1 it will select all and it will change the paper size what is given by you and uh, it will change the position of uh, shape after grouping it will put outside the page and it will go to the page 2 and uh, change the page size and again it will create selection make group and change the shapes uh, position it will change the shape position and again it will set po uh, set the position of uh, object 1 and as you can see if set 1 which is given by you is equal to 4 then it will do what it will copy this select this copy this and rotate this like this and if um, shapes are same front and back all our shapes height and weight are same then it, what it will, it will be do it will just paste the markers and make it group and page one will be deleted and message of successfully done and end the process that is what is pba code is doing hope you like this video i request you please share subscribe and kindly promote this video so that everybody who required these type of things can avail from my channel okay friends see you in the next video till then bye bye